Hey guys, I am back with the new video and in this video, I am going to discuss about how does the notification system work in Android. And this is a very frequently asked question during the Android interview. So let's understand it today. And you also know that this video is a part of the series, which is Android interview questions and answers. And you can find the playlist link in the description below. So today the question is how does the Android notification system work? So for this, as we already know that we generally use Google service, which is the FCM Firebase cloud messaging to send the notification to the users, right? So first let's understand what if, if we create our own system to send the notification to the users, what are the problems that we are going to face here, right? So for example, consider the applications like Instagram, Facebook, Amazon, Flipkart and whatever you name it, right? So these applications sends a notification to the users but to send the notification to the user we will have to create a persistent connection between the server and the client because from the server we want to send the notification to the users right here we do not have the case that the notification should be fetched by the client right that is why we should have a connection between the server and the client so that the server can push the notification at any point in time and that is what we call as a WebSocket connection. It's a two-way communication that we create between the client and the server and we are able to send or push the notification from the server to the client. So the thing is that as we are creating the connection between the server and the client, which is a WebSocket connection, which is a persistent connection. So in this case, our app and the server should be connected all the time, right? So what if, if we have hundreds of apps in our device right one app will create one connection with its own server so for example instagram will create the persistent connection with the instagram server similarly facebook will create with the facebook server similarly amazon will create with the amazon server so 100 apps means hundreds of connection right it is going to drain our battery ultimately we should be able to send the notification with that solution but the thing is that it is going to drain our battery because a single device will create hundreds of persistent connections with the hundreds of server and that is going to drain the battery. So that is why we should not create our own solution for this. So now let's understand how does this Google system work, right? We have an app, we have the Google server and we have our own server. Now, first of all, we will create an account on the Google server that will give you a key so that we will have to store on our server and now as soon as the app gets launched so this app gets registered on the google server and it will give you an fcm token and that fcm token must be sent on our server so our server will have a fcm token and a key both can be used to send the notification to the google server so now whenever we want to send a notification to the app we will not directly send because we are not making a persistent connection here google is making the persistent connection with the google play services not with with our app right so now whenever we want to send the notification first we will send the notification or the messages using the fcm key as well as the key which we have received from the google server both the things with the message which is the data that we will send it to the google server now google server will send it to the client to the google play services now google play services knows that this is the message and where i have to deliver it so it will check the package name and it will deliver the message or the notification to that package name only that is how we will be able to show the notification because we have received the data received the notification or the messages whatever we call it and we can just show it to the user so this is how the google system work and it is a very efficient connection because it is not creating hundreds of connections for the hundreds of apps available on the devices ultimately it is going to save our battery because it is not creating lots of connections so this is a very efficient solution created by google so that we can directly use it and send the notification to the user so this is how the android notification system work and i am here to teach you all the topics in depth 
so i will recommend you to subscribe to my channel right now so please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video